there's something in this world that doesn't want me to create this video. But I don't pay attention to signs. This is like my 12th time trying to record this. I keep having issues with Xcode or my camera or, or not my camera, but the record software. Anyway, so what I've done is I've went ahead and created the UI for the login. It's so similar to our sign up that I didn't think it's necessary to even show it. Just check out my video before this if you want to see me create this create this UI since it's so simple, it's nothing special to it. Now what we will do is we will create the class in this video to handle our new login. So I'm going to create a Cocoa Touch class. I'm going to call it login. And just create that. And we're just going to link it here. So we just drop down, find it, link it. And now we can go ahead and what's this? Okay, just get rid of all this extra stuff. Let's go back to main storyboard. All right, so let's go ahead and just create access to, oops, control Z, let's try this again. Create access to our outlets, our email, email text. We're going to create access to our password. And we're going to need our button. So let's go ahead and create that right now. Since we know we need it, a login button action. All right, so let's create a function for logging in because we'll need to call this multiple times, not just within the button. So I'm going to create it outside of the button. In order, we are, as you know, using Firebase. So we have to import Firebase. I can't spell today for nothing. Okay. So we import Firebase and our login function, what it needs to do is to sign in. So let's use Firebase auth, that auth always, dot sign in with email and password. We have email text, dot text, and we have password text, dot text. And we're going to assume that we have them here. So we're going to store our user in a variable called user and our error in error. Now here we're checking to see if we encounter encountered an error. So if error is not equal to nil, then this means that we've received the error. We're going to print the error for ourselves right now. And then we're going to return. So we're going to get out of there. We don't need to do anything else if we receive an error. But at this point, we probably would send a message. But we'll do that later. Um, and if we don't receive an error, what we want to do is we want to go to our home page. Let's create another function. I told you I cannot. It's like my, my keyboard is shifted over. So go to home. That's basically the start of our application. And what we want to do here is let's create um, an access point. So our home view controller or page view controller, as we created in the first video, has a class called root page view controller on it. And that's how we're going to get access to it. And we're just going to present that view controller 
home PVC true and no block completion. Okay, so let's go back up here, go back to login. So if we don't experience error, that means we logged in successfully, we want to go to our home screen. So go to self .go to home. Okay. And we also want to go through the login process if we click the log in button. So let's just add this here. So when we click log in button, we're going to go through log in and then go to home. Another thing is that if we're already logged in, we just want to go straight to our home page. So let's use Firebase to check if we're logged in. Firebase auth that our current user UID, I'm not sure if that's necessary. So if our current user UID is not equal to nil, then we're going to go home, go to home. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. Let's clean this up. This is probably as tired as I am, okay? And we're just gonna go ahead and hit play. And we're gonna hope that this is going to work for us. We're gonna hit play and we're gonna pray. Hit play and pray. All right, so now we're gonna just log in. I know I have an account that I set up called test.test at test.com or it will test at test.com and my password is always the same password makes it a lot easier to remember and boom we log in so if I go ahead and stop okay so it's not logging us directly in and warning attempt to present our page view controller or our home screen and it has an issue. Now the problem is, is we're trying to put that in the view did load. It hasn't already got built. So what we need them to, we need to actually do is put it in the um, function view did appear. And let's just take this out of here. And then we're just going to put that here. So we have to put override. Clean. And build. All right. And boom, we go straight to our actual home page. This is where we'll see our feed. Um, since we are already logged in, we don't actually go to the login anymore. What we're going to do is of course, create a way to log out that way this doesn't happen. So if you lose your phone or something like that, people can't, I don't know, put butt pictures as your profile pictures for our, everything. Not saying that that's what I would do, but, um, you kind of ask for it. So our next video, we're actually gonna build out the profile. This is where it actually gets exciting. I know a lot of you already know this piece of it and you know it's been dug into the ground, but the profile is where things really get interesting. I hope you guys stay tuned, you know, get ready for some real fun. We're gonna make this very polished, amazing new app. So Instagram-ish, but something new. Stay tuned.